Hey guys and gals, this is Cyanagero with my 9.9 .9 mod pack and I'm just going to show you some of the filtering you can have as well as the 3 row tank carousel. This is all part of XVM, so you only need that if you only want the tank carousel. And you can just put on a bunch of filters, that one is for uh, priority and then that is the domination game mode vehicles. And of course we have the session statistics. Uh, so you can reset that whenever you want and you can see how you're doing so far. Now in battle we'll take a look at the minimap. The orange dotted line is your view range, the blue dotted line is your radio range and then the red square is your draw distance and those will uh, change appropriately depending on what you have and on the tab screen these are the XVM stats of each player in the match. Looking at the stats of Killer Medic, the T110E5 on my team, 54% is the win rate of the T110E5 that is being played, 1608 is the WN8, and the 0.1k means he's played about 100 games in the T110E5. And now if you press the alternate key you'll get a different set of information on top of each vehicle. Uh, very soon, I'll have that up. Little Step in the T-54 has a total overall average win rate of 47% with 13,000 battles played, a WN8 of 953. And in the T-54, he's got 49% win rate with 300 games played. That 38 is a, a different scale. It's uh, I believe it's something from 0 to 100. Uh, I'm not sure about that though as I don't use it. The fighting continues and on the top left you will see the hit points left of your enemy vehicles, the spotted enemy vehicles anyway. And here's the tab screen once again. And back on the top left if you're not holding the alternate key you will see your hit log which shows you the amount of damage you've done to the enemy uh, minus the stuff that you do by blind firing. And of course this is the version of the mod pack which includes DG sites. I also have a version that uh, has the default sites and that is the one I use when I'm playing live. However in replays I've got the DG sites running because I want to see the reload time of the current cannon. Uh, which is a nice thing to have in replays. Now I'm going to show you how to install the mod pack. This is the default root directory of World of Tanks where it installs normally but uh, if you didn't install it in that folder you're going to have to find out where you put it. Usually it is good to have uh, nothing in your response folder because sometimes there could be some conflicts. And uh, I use WinRAR, but you can use whatever. Just unzip and put it in your root folder and overwrite everything. So everything should be there. Uh, the mod author is there, the text file. And in configs, if you want to change your color scheme from the, uh, the default colors to colorblind colors, you can if you want to. So you just have to delete xvm.xc copy the colorblind colors and then paste it and rename that to xvm.xc and you're good to go. Also to activate your xvm stats you can have to go to the uh, mod xvm.com and log in as uh, whatever your account is and then click activate stats so you will have the stats available for 14 days that's two weeks and then you're gonna have to reactivate it once again. Thanks for watching, please press that like button, leave some comments, and I will see you in future videos.